Hey guys, this is TK. In this video, we'll try to demonstrate EIGRP stuck in active situation. Stuck in active situation happens like this. When EIGRP routing process lose a route to a particular destination and there is no other redundant or feasible route exist on its EIGRP topology database, it put that route into an active phase and try to look for an alternate route by sending queries to adjacent EIGRP peers. If it fails to receive reply from any of its neighbors within active timeout, then the route is declared as stuck inactive. When that happens, the IGRP process clears up the neighbor relationship with that particular neighbor who failed to reply by sending a peer termination to that neighbor. This stuck inactive stage cannot be reproduced in a straightforward way because it is not related to configuration or de design issues. For example, like a routing loop, stuck inactive happens if there are CPU or memory related issues or uh, on routers like uh, OU utilization or iOS bugs or it could happen if you have re unreliable high delay circuits like multiple satellite hops or sometimes unidirectional links which gives the impression to the neighbors that they are up, however, dropping packets on one direction. In our case, we have three routers, R1, R2, R3, who are adjacent in that order uh, and properly converged. We will have active time on each router reduced to one minute as opposed to default three minutes. And we will apply ACL to block EIGRP responses between R2 and R3 during this test. So to keep the adjacency up, when we do that, we'll increase the whole time on EIGRP peering between R2 and R3 to 300 seconds or 5 minutes instead of default 15 seconds. That will kind of create a unidirectional link uh, from EIGRP's point of view. So let's check this on the command line. Okay, first let's check on R1 and do some verification. Uh, let's check uh, the EIGRP configuration. It's very straightforward configuration. Uh, enable EIGRP in all the interfaces and we'll have active timer uh, is set to one, one minute. On R2. same thing active time is set to one minute and also the 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 whole time between r2 and r3 set to uh, 300 seconds which is five minutes uh, same on r3 we have the active timer set for one minute and the whole time between r2 and r3 set for uh, 300 seconds and also let's check the neighbor relationship r1 is adjacent with r2 R2 is adjacent with R1 and R2, R3, and R3 is adjacent with R2. Okay, let's check uh, the access list. We are going to apply between R2 and R3 ingress, which will deny EIGRP and permit IP. Okay, so let's go ahead and first let's apply this access list into the interface between R3 and R2, R2 and R3, I'm sorry, and, and in, in the ingress direction on R2. And let's uh, also debug uh, EIGRP packets. And on R1, let's shut down loop back zero. Let's enable uh, logging console debugging on R2 so we can see what's going on and uh, before I shut down loop back zero let me show you that network which is 1.1.1.0 and let's shut down that uh, network. So let's let this debug to scroll up a little bit and let's stop it right, on debug all and then
let's take a look at uh, eiGRP topology for active routes and you see that 1.1.1.0 is currently in active uh, stage because it didn't re receive any replies from R3 for the queries and after exactly one minute we should see that the route is going for stuck inactive which we are and also you see that uh, it went to uh, stuck inactive uh, and also the neighbor uh, peer termination for R3 is sent and if you scroll up the uh, the debugs you see that we received query from Ethernet 00 which is the R1 interface R1 sent a query and we acknowledge that and then we are queuing queries to R3 and then we are sending the query to R3 on Ethernet 01 and we are not receiving anything we are just sending and finally the end result is that we putting that route into uh, stuck inactive St and also sending a peer termination so that's pretty much it thank you very much